Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of MTG Openings. This time we're going to be opening the Commander 2014 Mono Black Deck, Sworn to Darkness. That's the one that comes with the new Planeswalker of Nixilis of the Black Oath. So we've seen him as a creature in two different varieties, as a demon, now we see him pre demon And just like all the other ones of these, the this is the first time you can use a Planeswalker as a commander. You can see right here, um, this list of the Black Oath can be your commander, which is the first time they've done that. And it may be design space in the future, who knows? Well, without further ado, we'll dig into here and see what we get. Or what was into them. Here. You get your oversized commander, Planeswalker. In the other previous Commander editions, they gave you oversized cards of all the all the different legendary creatures. This time, you only get the one. So there he is. Back is very similar to a Magic card, but it's different. Obviously, you want to see his abilities. There they are. Pretty versatile, I think. And here's the box with the deck name at the bottom, Sworn to Darkness. Inside, you get. Your cards, including tokens. There's his. There's Obnixilis's emblem, and you get a commander insert about the deck. A list of the cards, among other things in it, and you get a rules reference card. So, first up is the tokens. So let me crack this open here. So this is the first time that Wizards has included the tokens in the. Uh, commander decks. Um, they are double-sided, so that's pretty interesting. And you actually get multiples of each one except for the ones you really need one of, for instance, like Upnixilis' emblem. There's that. And on the back is a zombie token. Next there's a Star Star Horror with another zombie token on the back. And then you get a gem, a germ token with another, yet another zombie. There's the Star Star Demon. Let's see, is it a zombie? It is, it's a 2 2 zombie. Here's another demon. This one's a 5 5 flyer, and another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. And on the back of all those, zombies. And there's one more horror, and I assume a zombie, correct? Okay. Each one of these is monocolored, as I mentioned. So. They come with many basic swamps. If you're not sure how EDH or Commander works, you pick a general, and then you can only play cards and land of those colors. That's a quick and dirty version of what it is. So you're gonna see a bunch of swamps. Swamps, swamps, swamps. So we'll get past a bunch of these. And then we'll get to the cards here. So, first one up is Obnixilis himself. There he is. He is going to be a welcome addition to one of my EDH decks that plays black, but he will not be the commander. Next is Ghoulcaller Gissa. So this is the sister of the brother and sister duo from Innistrad. They never made her as a creature before this set, so that's pretty cool. She's the one of the alternate commanders you can use. The other is Drana, Kalistra Blood Chief, originally from, the, from Zendikar. The Plains Endicar, she's actually in Rise of the Eldrazi, the set. So, she was great and limited at the time, and she would make an interesting general and definitely a good creature to have in your deck. So, next up, Skur Skurdrag High Priest. He actually makes the 5 5 demon flying tokens. Nintuko Shade. Flesh Carver. He is new. Cryptgast has Extort, which is pretty good. There's a Disciple of Bolus. Abyssal Persecutor is a Mythic. So a pretty efficient, costed 4, four to cast, 6-6 six, six Flying Trample. But you can't win the game while it's in play. Liliana's Reaver. Magus of the Coffers. Raving Dead, I believe that's one of the new cards for the set. 2 6 for 5 with Death Touch, and it makes your opponents lose half their life when they take a hit. Blood Gift Demon, 
Demon of Wailing Agonies, that's another one of the new ones. This is actually the Black Lieutenant. It's a 5 to cast 4 4 flying and it has Lieutenant, which means as long as you control your commander, it gets a bonus. So this guy gets plus 2 plus 2 and has whenever Demon of Wailing Agonies deals combat damage to a player, that player sacrifices a creature. So, pretty good. There's Grave Titan. So, the Titan cycle at least comes in the black the white and the blue. I actually have not looked at all the lists for the other two so I'm not sure if you get them or not. So I don't think Primeval Titan is in the green but I could easily be wrong. Pontiff of Blight. Reaper from the Abyss. This deck actually has a lot of different mythics I've noticed. Xanthric Demon. There's another mythic. Butcher of Malakir. Overseer of the Damned is another new one. 5-5 five, five Flying for 7. Whenever you see the damage enters the battlefield, you may destroy a target creature. Whenever a non-token creature an opponent controls dies, you get a 2-2 two, two zombie. Which explains all the 2-2 two, two zombie tokens. Pestilence Demon. Bad Moon. Spoils of Blood. That's another one of the new ones. Malicious Affliction. This one I like a lot. Two black, morbid. When you cast it, if a creature died, you may copy it. And choose a new target and destroy target non black. So if you kill a if a creature dies, say in combat, you can play this after combat or even on a different player's turn because it's an instant and kill two more creatures. Sudden spoiling, which is nice to have split second. That's an ability you oh, it was from Time Spiral Block. Wake the Dead. That's another new card. Mutilate. Infernal offering. Aether Snap. So this is an interesting one because it is remove all counters from permanence and exile all tokens. So this almost is against like the white deck that we looked at in another video. I know they do design these to play against each other, but there are a lot of tokens in EDH in general. So Promise of Power, Necromantic Selection, Necrom there's a Black Sun Zenith, Profane Command, Dredge of Sorrows. Here's the Jet Medallion. Every one of the monocolor decks comes with their medallion of the respective color. Makes spells of that color. Cost one generic list to cast. So, a welcome addition for anyone that couldn't get the original ones. Last Wraith. Crypto Agitum. And then you get a, bunch, a few more swamps. There's Arcane Lighthouse. Good to go against those decks that rely on Hexproof and Shroud. Baron Moore is one of the is the black cycle land, Bajukabog, Everglades, Ghost Quarter, Myriad Landscape, that's one of the other new lands along with the lighthouse. This taps to go get two land. That's the this is the other black cycle land, polluted mire. So we're out of the rares at this point, but Vampire Hex Mage is definitely a good card. You can actually kick you can sack it to remove all counters from target permanent, which would even work for Planeswalkers. Evernight Shade, Necrotal, Shriek Maul, Grey Merchant of Asphodel, not only good and limited, <laughs> Morak Banshee, Phyrexian Gargantuan, a lot of cards that are two for ones in this deck. Tragic Slip, Tendrils of Corruption, Annihilate, Skeletal Scrying, Sign in Blood, Read the Bones, Victimize with the old art instead of the new art from, uh, from Conspiracy, sorry. Siphon Mind, Dread Return, which is a nice in inclusion in this deck. Burnished Heart, Soul Ring, every one of the decks gets Soul Ring yet again. Charcoal Diamond, so every set gets their Diamond Cycle this time, so that's also nice for people who hadn't gotten them before. Mind Stone, Swift Foot Boots, Command Sphere is a new artifact, every deck gets this as well. Task for the color of your commander, and then you can just sacrifice it any time to draw a card. Unstable Obelisk is also new, nice removal if you need it, and in the meantime it's a Man Acceleration. And a Worn Power Stone. So That's the deck. I haven't gotten a chance to playtest yet. Obviously, I just opened it. I'm probably going to playtest it a few times just like the others, just to see how it plays for fun before I take a bunch of the cards out and put them in my own EDH decks. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for another episode of MTG Openings.